one day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock. Well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they're invisible. take long at all. because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service.
Do you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Look, our luck. Maybe he's upstairs now. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin. Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Heal my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Seems to be in style. This terror. Not so sure it's a good Lately, I've been hearing a whole mess of funny new ideas. Paid vacation. Eight hour days. Workers' compensation. <laughs> Much mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. <laughs> Yes. 
appreciate Ammo it. Ammo Booker! You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. to all your problems to keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down brothers. but daisy fitzroy says there's another way another way coming real soon these people are like this because of fink maybe daisy's right maybe she should pay him back for all of this not before she pays us we're here for guns and then the airship back it up
deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. The fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy, now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. People are treated like men, and others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like a wounded knee. Yeah, like a wounded knee. Through an army to get those tools. 
weapons for the Vox. We squashed that gunsmith like a bug and took his tools for our own. Make no mistake, soldiers. The Vox and weapons go together like fire and gunpowder. <laughs> That'll do. Grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to leave one of your couriers till he gave you up. <laughs> 